O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Saviour. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. This Mass is offered for the intentions of Andrew. In our readings today, we are reminded that we have nothing of ourselves to boast of, but in what God does in us. And so, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these most sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. So many others have been boasting of their worldly achievements that I will boast myself. But if anyone wants some brazen speaking, I am still t talking as a fool. Then I can be as brazen as any of them and about the same things. Hebrews, are they? So am I. Israelites, so am I. Descendants of Abraham, so am I. The servants of Christ, I must be mad to say this, but so am I. And more than they, they, more, because I have worked harder. I have been sent to prison more often and whipped so many times more, or often almost to death. Five times I had the 39 lashes from the Jews. Three times I have been beaten with sticks. Once I was stoned, three times I have been shipwrecked, and once adrift in the open sea for a night and a day, constantly travelling. I have been in danger from rivers and in danger from brigands, in danger from my own people and in danger from pagans, in danger in the towns, in danger in the open country, danger at sea and danger from so-called brothers. I have worked and laboured, often without sleep. I have been hungry and thirsty, and often starving. I have been in the cold without clothes, and to leave out much more. There is my daily preoccupations, my anxiety for all the churches. When any man has had scruples, I have had scruples with him. When any man is made to fall, I am tortured. If I boast, then let my boast be of my own feebleness. This is the word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The Lord rescues the just in all their distress. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise are always on my lips. 
In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. The Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up treasure for yourselves on earth, where moths and woodworms destroy them, and thieves can break in and steal. But store up treasures for yourselves in heaven, where neither moth or woodworms destroy them, and thieves cannot break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. It follows that if your eye is sound, your whole body will be filled with light. But if your eye is diseased, your whole body will be in darkness. If then the light inside you is darkness, what darkness that will be. The Gospel of the Lord. Saint Paul was by any standards a very successful missioner and apostle, though he was late in the game. He gives a list here of many of the cal calamities that have beset him as an apostle on his three missionary journeys. He's speaking to a community in Corinth which vexed him particularly because of their wayward ways to stray back to the old faith of pagan Greek idols. But nevertheless, he boasted of his achievements. But in the end, he realized that despite being a Jew amongst Jews and, in fact, a great leader in the law, none of this was really worthwhile. For he says, as we find out tomorrow in the continuation, for it is when I am weak, then I am strong. It is through all these beatings and tortures, shipwrecks and hardships, that he realizes his great strength. And why does he do that? Because he sees it in the passion of our Lord, what seems to be the greatest calamity in the Christian faith, the defeat of our Lord on the cross, in the world's eyes, was in fact the greatest victory. Each time we come to Mass, we join in that eternal sacrifice of our Lord on the cross. It is our greatest victory. It is the greatest food for the journey and that which will lead us out of the darkness that, that, that Matthew speaks of, but into the light. It will help us to realize that in our failures and our weaknesses, that God's strength may be shown. If we set ourselves truly on the things of heaven, then we shall truly be saved.
fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
the body of Christ. Father, keep in your name those that you have given me, that they may be one as we are one, says the Lord. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.